Connie and Curtis. I don't read a lot. Weird things. I told her about the one time Katie and I went to Subway and I ate her whole sub before she even, uh, she w- was in the car and I was starving. I'm like, pass me mine. And she handed it and I ate it and then we got home and she's like, you ate my sub. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> she's like, don't you remember what you ordered? I was like, yeah, I knew it was wrong, but I, didn't, I was hungry. You didn't care? I didn't, I didn't think. That's weird. I was like, wait, wait. I watched them make it, but the, none of the things I asked for it are on here. <laughs> Is that That's a, so weird. Whatever. I'm hungry. It's I'm just going to eat it. very weird thing. I'm just going to eat it. <laughs> yeah, we still fight about that. Remember that time you ate my sub? I'm like, yes, I do. I'll never forget it because mm-hmm. you won't let me. And it was very good. It was. It was good. <laughs> and after that, I switched up my sub. I was going to say. <laughs> you started getting hers. Started adding some other things to oh, it. Of course you like, did. This is good. Mm-hmm. But she hates onion and mine had red onion on it. And mm-hmm. she then was Aww. mad. Only I always the, get extra onion, so she would hate Aww. that if I ate her sub. But you would notice there was no onion on there and probably stop eating. I would notice that it wasn't my sub. Yeah, I did not. I, just, <laughs> hum, 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 hum. I don't understand people that don't like onion. It confuses me so much. It just makes your breath stink and it's so oh, like it's hard. So it's like it's in, it's in everything and it's such a good like addition to the flavor. I don't under, I just don't get it. I mean, I agree with you. Yeah. But people don't understand how I won't eat shrimp or lobster right. or any yeah. sort of seafood. But that's either. a little bit more different, I think. My I mean, I feel like it is too, but it. Yeah, but it really most is. people are like, "What?" Yeah, it's you exactly, like that? it's exactly the same. It's the same. You thing. don't like something, we don't ask you about it. Everybody asks yeah. about it. Doesn't like me? something, yeah. we as don't my, ask about it. As my it. grandma used to say, uh, <laughs> "To each their own," as the woman kissed the cow. I don't know what that what? saying actually I meant. It was from the early 1900s, but I always thought wow. it was fantastic. <laughs> to each <laughs> their own as the woman kissed the cow. Yes. Okay. <laughs> type, that, type that into Google right I now, should. Steve, and see what, see what comes up. To woman. each their own as with the woman. Oh, man. I swear I love old people. Okay. They're so it's cute. The exact, and wise. The exact thing is uh, to each his own as the woman said when she kissed her cow. And it's a Wellerism, whatever a Wellerism, a Wellerism is. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, oh, Wellerism are names of sayings of Sam Weller in Charles Dickens' novel, The Pickwick Papers. Okay. Oh, so it's a Charles Dickens quote. Hmm. Oh. You're so smart, Grandma. Look at that. Aww. I'm surprised someone from Greenville didn't call us and tell us that. <laughs> <laughs> Honey and Curtis on Channel 95.7.